Streaming to Twitch or YouTube gaming is nice, but sometimes for a bigger event, you might want to stream to multiple platforms at once. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. I'm Evils Vox here to make tech easier and more fun, and welcome back to my OBS Studio tutorial course. I have many, many more videos on the software in the playlist linked in the description. Check that before asking too many questions because they might be answered in the videos, and check the introduction video to learn how this whole course works if you get confused. I'm going to be using the platform called Restream in today's tutorial. They are not a sponsor, but I do have an affiliate sign-up link that I'd appreciate if you would use. The platform is free, but I get a small kickback if you sign up or use any of their premium features. Let's get on with it, shall we? If you want to stream to both YouTube and Twitch, or to Beam, Hitbox, Ustream, or any of the other tons of supported platforms on Restream, or even to multiple accounts on the same streaming service, Restream is a great free tool to do just that. Sign up for an account and authorize the channels you wish to push your stream to. Then, on the right of the main site panel, you're provided with a stream key and a drop-down to select the server closest to you. Open OBS and go to your Stream Settings tab. Choose Restream.io from the list of streaming services. Choose the correct server to match your Restream page listing and paste your stream key into the box. Click Apply and you're ready to stream. See, Restream acts as a middleman server and takes your stream and sends it back out to the other platforms that you choose. They're working on implementing transcoding too, so you can stream a specific bitrate or resolution to Restream and then send different streams to other platforms. It is worth noting, however, that there will be an added delay with Restream. Since you are sending a stream to them to be sent out to other platforms, there's a little extra added delay. On a good note, they do have their own chat app, which allows you to view all of your stream chats in one box. This makes it a little easier to keep up with. I hope this episode of my OBS tutorial course has been helpful for you. If it was, drop kick that like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, and if you like game streaming, come follow me on Twitch and leave me a message in chat, say hi. Otherwise, until next time, I'm Epos Vox. Happy streaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching this episode of my OBS Studio tutorial course. More videos like this and a full master class are linked in the playlist in the video description. Click to learn more. Also, consider joining us on Patreon to help keep tech education free. Go to patreon.com slash to sign up.